Hi, I'm going to show you some of the basic functionalities for the new GIS web map viewer available for the resort municipality of Whistler. And when you launch the web map, you'll see three different sections here. In the middle, we have the map viewing window. On the left is the left hand panel. On the top, we have all the tools. Now, depending on the size of your screen, if you want to be working on a smaller or bigger screen, you can toggle the size of these panels on the side of the map viewing window to be bigger or smaller. So the toolbar at the top can toggle on and off with this toggle here, and if you want to get rid of it completely, press the X. Press the toolbar to get it back. Same goes for the left-hand panel here. We can contract or expand it with this toggle, or the arrow will get rid of it or bring it back. Bottom left-hand corner of the left-hand panel, you'll have the default home and layers tabs, so those are available for you, and once you start using the tools, this is where the tool tabs are going to pop up. Now in the map viewing window, uh, we have a few different options to um, go through the different preset scales, so you can zoom into a different scale there. Bottom left-hand corner is a toggle for the different kinds of base maps, so right now we're on the RMOW's default base map, but you can also do the wayfinding base map, which is essentially the same thing, just with a different feel and some different colors. Here we have a scale bar for our reference, and then on the bottom right-hand corner we have a key map. Now the key map has a teal box in the middle that you can click and drag, so that lets you navigate around the municipality a little bit quicker. And then this arrow here uh, hides the key map and then brings it back to you um, when you want it back. So that's it for some of the basic functionalities of the new GIS web map viewer available for the resort municipality of Whistler. Thank you for watching.